everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make some gorse flower tea. So gorse is a common thorny shrubby kind of plant that's found in a lot of different habitats in Ireland and the UK and it is most common in our uplands and there is historical burning that generally takes place here um, to clear lands for agriculture. Gorse is in the pea family and it typically flowers, it has a long flowering period. So it typically flowers from around early March to up until around end of May. It is now mid-May, so as you can see, a lot of these flowers are actually dying off. And I was supposed to film this video about two weeks ago, but I did not. <laughs> So um, they're just, the flowers are nearly spent now, but there are a few that we can use. So I'm gonna show you how to make tea out of this lovely yellow flowering shrub. So the first thing you wanna do is start picking off, carefully picking off the little yellow petals. So as I said, this is an extremely thorny plant, so you probably will get pricked and it is easier when the flowers aren't, you know, dying off like this. So you basically just pick off a good handful, ow, <laughs> a good handful of the yellow flowers. Now, gorse are really, really important in our landscape for insects. Um, ow, God, that's really sore. Um, <laughs> gorse are really important in our landscape for insects and um, there's a lot of insects that breed on this plant so you will come across little crawlies <laughs> while you're doing this but we will separate it all out afterwards and um, make sure that they're not in our tea so i'm just picking off quite a few here i'm gonna go somewhere else now get some fresher ones so i'm just gonna get a couple more here now this is super easy to make you can obviously pick it and go home with them, make it in, in your house. <laughs> or look, there's a lot of bugs. You can make it in your house or if you bring some boiling water with you and something to make tea, you can do it outside, which is a lovely kind of a spring, early summer treat. So that's enough for now. Hello, big spider. All right, so now you get your dog out of the way. Boo boo, it's not for you, baby. Okay, so now you want to kind of separate out these little petals. There are kind of sheets on the side. You don't have to use them. Um, so you want to separate them out. Um, while you're doing this, look for some bugs, separate out some bugs. <laughs> um, so you don't boil them in your tea. So I'm gonna pick apart these petals. I'm getting rid of the sheets a little bit because do not need them. I mean, it's really not the end of the world if you do get some bugs in your tea. That doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, you can spend a bit more time um, separating these out. I'm gonna make a small glass today, but you can obviously take as much as you want. An ideal time would be, would be mid-April, I would say, when they're in full bloom. So as I have a small glass, this is kind of enough, I think. So I'm gonna take this little lot. And now, what you can do now is kind of bruise the flowers up a bit, which can release, I don't know, the stuff that makes the tea really. You just wanna bruise them a bit. Okay, so I have some hot water. Be careful. And we're gonna pour it in. Now there are some bugs in there that I've already seen. So I'm kind of just letting it brew a little bit. You can see the color coming out a lot more. Gorse flowers have a kind of a coconutty sweet smell. It's 
not too dissimilar to how the tea tastes as well. It doesn't have the nicest colour <laughs> in the world. <laughs> it's not like, uh, I'm sure you know what I mean. It's not like the super nicest looking tea. So obviously, like with any kind of loose leaf tea, you can drain it out. You can use a strainer, whatever, whatever you kind of want to, or you can leave, leave it in. I actually do have a strainer, so I'm going to get a lot of this out that way. So we have our gorse tea. So obviously you can add a sweetener if you feel like it, uh, honey, sugar, whatever you want. Um, to sweeten it up a bit, it does taste kind of earthy. So um, that's up to you, but let's try it. It does have the touch of like coconut, but it also kind of tastes like peas, which is interesting because it's in the pea family. And um, yeah, I do get a kind of a pea taste off it. It definitely, it definitely tastes like it was made outside, <laughs> but it's nice. And um, there's always an option, you know, there's so many things that you can do with this. You can collect loads of it in April, you can dry it out, you can make tea that way, you can save a lot of it, you can infuse it, you can make syrups out of it as kind of like a cordial, you can boil it with sugar and then make a cordial like that. Um, there's loads and loads of things that you can do with it and gorse is everywhere in Ireland and the UK and it's freely available. So that's really it, it's that easy. Um, gorse really is a beautiful native plant that we have and it is really nice to get to use it. It does grow in abundance here in Ireland and the UK as I said. So yeah, if you make, if you try to make this yourself, please let me know down in the comments. How did it go? What did you think of it? So that's really it. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like down below. Thank you to my wonderful husband for being the cameraman. We have managed to film this in between thunderstorms today, so that was lucky. <laughs> and if you do make the tea, please let me know how it went down below. I hope that you enjoy it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.